the distinguished delegate of USA to make a statement. Madam President and distinguished delegates, it pleased me to extend our sincere congratulations to you, Madam President. Quoting one of our American governors, let me begin. We are the first generation to feel the impact of the climate change and the last generation that can do something about it. The United States of America accepts our role in creating this environmental crisis. So we embrace our responsibility to rectify the harm we have done. Madam President, over the last seven years, we have made ambitious investments in clean energy, shifting from the conventional sources to energy saving methods, thus creating ambitious reductions in our carbon emissions. This shift is evident from the fact that we have multiplied wind power threefold and solar power more than 20-fold, helping create parts of the United States of America where these clean power sources are finally made feasible, cheaper, and environment friendly. Madam President, we have said no to infrastructure that would pull down high carbon fossil fuels from the grounds, and we have said yes to the first ever set of national standards. Limiting the amount of carbon pollutants our power plants can release into the atmosphere. These eco-friendly ways have shown us the development and climate stability can go hand in hand. The advances we have made have helped drive our economic, economic output to all-time highs and drive our carbon pollution to its lowest levels in nearly two decades, the showering the world efforts put forward by the United States of America. The citizens of America have directly experienced these effects of climate change firsthand in our northernmost state, Alaska, where the sea is already swallowing villages and eroding shorelines, and where the glaciers are melting at a pace unprecedented in modern times. Madam President, as one of the world's largest greenhouse gas emitters, any change at the top of the United States politic warrants a consideration of what it might mean for the country's climate and energy priorities. The future is that, one, we have the power to change right here, right now, but only if we rise this moment. Thank you.